Alrighty, welcome back to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel, everyone. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back for some more computer maintenance tools here today. Talking about how to find files on your computer that you might want to delete to free up some space, because one of the things people often neglect about doing maintenance on their computer, at least the digital side of maintenance, is your computer runs a lot better if it has more free space to frolic about in and do stuff and the fuller your hard drive is the harder it is for it to like move stuff and jangle stuff it's kind of like having a really full storage room that's just full of junk so today i'm going to be talking about a lovely tool that helps you find files in case you're not sure what's taking up space to delete and it does it in a visual way that makes it really easy to find everything and that tool is a free open source tool called winderstat that's going to scan your hard drives and then show you a map of what's taking up space. So once you've got it downloaded and installed, and I'll put a link in the video description so you can grab that and follow along. So if you need to pause this and get stuff all squared away, feel free. Uh, once you've got all that done, pop it open and you'll be greeted with a little screen like this. And essentially what it wants to do is it wants you to take a look at the list of drives plugged into your computer and tell it which ones you want it to scan. And it can scan, I believe, multiple ones, if you'd like. Or you can just tell it scan everything. But I really just want to do this one at a time because it's easier for me to manage. So I'm going to start with my primary hard drive. Admittedly, at about 500 gigs, it's not huge, but it's just mostly what I keep spare files on, things that run better on the main drive, and uh, my operating system, so there shouldn't be too much on there. So I'm going to just click OK. And it's going to start diving through every setting, categorizing where all of my files are, how big they are, where they're stored. And eventually, once this is done, and this might take anywhere from like five to 15 minutes, depending on how big the drive is and how full it is and how much like old stuff is in there. OK, so it just finished up. And what it's given me is a map of confusing multicolored squares. Larry, what in the name of all that's holy on the internet is going on here? Well, the simple answer is this is categorizing all the different file types on your computer into one of these different color-coded file types on the upper right-hand corner of this screen. So right here, we've got some big BA2 files, which are game files or like system software files that are attached to some game that I'm playing. I actually believe this one's from Fallout 76, if I had to guess. Yes, that's definitely from Fallout 76. And then we've also got these big fat system files that are related to things like Windows doing things. In this case, these big red ones are page files. And what page files are I think of it just kind of like a big file that the computer does math and fancy technical jargon in while it's thinking and keeping like a notepad on your desk for your thoughts in order to get stuff done. We don't want to mess with that. We're going to leave that alone. But what I am interested in, if I look through this sidebar here, I'm interested in everything that's green because those are MP4 video files and everything that's pink because those are also video files that are like MOVs. So what's what's green? We got a lot of green. I'm curious as to what these are. So let's go ahead and select some green. Oh, okay. So this is part of a video project that I've been working on where I showcase what it's like to make Lefsa or traditionally make Lefsa with my family, but still use old school tools to do all of that. So I don't want to delete that because that's still ongoing, although I might actually burn all of this to like a disk or something so that it's stored and it's not sitting on my computer or it might be lost, so I'll maybe write down a note on my pad of paper here to move that somewhere else. Uh, what's all these pink stuff? Oh, that's also left uh, stuff from a different uh, camera. And if you're curious where any of this stuff is when you're browsing around, because this file tree is sort of confusing, you can right-click any of these things at any time, and you can do things like delete them, copy the path location to find them, or you can just click on Explore here, and it'll bring up all of the files in that folder so that you can browse around in your file browser to the to your heart's content. All right, so what are what are yellow files? If I had to guess, I'd say these are probably 
my ISO files for my emulators because I've got some different game emulators for game systems that I don't currently have uh, installed or at least I don't have like the physical console to play the games. Those ones I definitely want to keep. What's this big fat green file? I believe this is another MP4 video file. Oh yes, this is actually a file that I believe I have used, but I'm going to double check in a minute that I had to fix for my Horizon Zero Dawn gameplay videos, so I don't really need to disable that. Is there anything in XSplit videos? Doesn't look like it. What about Overwolf? I don't know that I even have Overwolf still installed, so in fact we can delete the entirety of this Overwolf folder because I know for a fact that that's long gone on my system, so we'll just delete this permanently. And I won't have to worry about cleaning out my recycling bin later. And now that that's been deleted, it actually does this little stutter thing that you just saw, where it's actually updating the file list so that, that that's gone from the file list, so you don't have to worry about where that is and what it's doing. Uh, let's see, what else looks like it's taking up a fair bit of space? What is this file type? This is a vidi file. And, oh, that's actually attached to my Bluestacks. So that's an important system file, I'm guessing, for the Android emulator that I use. What's this? This is for my Oculus Rift. So this is actually kind of almost educational when you peruse around and see what everything is and to see if you need to delete anything. But for the most part, I tend to keep my hard drive fairly clean, minus whatever might be left over from my cameras when I just drag them onto my desktop. So what I might end up doing is I'll probably, after this video is over, I'll actually watch through all of these videos, see if I still need any of them, and if I don't, I'll go ahead and dump them. So, sometimes you don't always clean stuff off your computer directly, but it's just handy to be able to see this image, to be able to click around the different multicolored chunks, and see if any of it's important in the event that you need to delete it later. That's really what you want from this software. You really want this to be where you can click around, find stuff that you need, delete it because you're not using it anymore, and then move on with your day, do a disk defrag, maybe scan for viruses, and you're oingo boingo, good to go. So that's basically the, the main purpose of the software, is to scan, click, delete. If you have any questions about the basic usages of the software or some other stuff you might want to do for computer maintenance, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. This has been a brief look at Winderstat as a really helpful quick tool to find big files on your computer and delete them to free up space. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a whole bunch. As you can see on your screen right now, I've got some more videos you might like to check out that might also be really helpful to you. And uh, that's it. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one and toodles.